The answer is quite simply, it's purely speculation. Earlier this week in a now deleted post, Violent J of the Insane Clown Posse, seemingly out of nowhere, released the following statement about the pro wrestler CM Punk. Fuck CM Punk for life. You wouldn't shake our hands in TNA, little bitch. And you clown on the only real friend you ever had in Colt Cabana, you bitch. I shared my bank account with my mom before she passed, you little insensitive bitch. You little heartless alien. Hey. Suck my dick, you little weak bitch. Couldn't beat a jobber in UFC, you fucking nearly pathetic little joke. Come beat me up, bitch. You suffer inside, everyone and they mama knows that. Get your head right, you little suffering ass bitch. Violent J of Insane Clown Posse, just as legendary as you, little bitch. Face it. Now, after this was posted, I speculated on Humble Among Broadcast System number 139 what this all was about. That he was likely recently talking with Colt Cabana, being as he was booked to be at the uh, JCW Lunacy taping. Going Going down tonight, actually, free admission. And with references to an encounter in TNA where CM Punk didn't want to shake their hands when they were both in the same company, about being a hypocrite as far as the whole shaking hands thing, and just maybe a hypocrite in general, to CM Punk's weird statements about Colt Cabana and sharing an account with his mom, and CM Punk even suing Colt Cabana, who CM Punk went on his platform to talk about the WWE stuff that got him sued, and then turned around and sued his friend just to get the money, the bank account thing clearly striking a nerve with Violent J, as he mentions that he was sharing one with his mother, who recently just passed away. Rest in peace to Linda Harwood. I speculated that all of these were reasons why he released this text style promo on CM Punk. And on Tuesday of this week, Violent J was on wrestling podcast kingpin Conrad Thompson's adfreeshows.com for a uh, special interview. And right out of the gate in that appearance, uh, they talk about the CM Punk thing. He starts by explaining how Colt Cabana is a real friend to him. Well, you know, first thing was Colt Cabana's, um, he's not an associate, he's a friend, you know? And I don't have very many people I actually consider a real friend. You know, somebody that you basically talk to every day. You know what I mean? And me and Colt are cool like that, you know? And then talks about recently finding the stuff of uh, CM Punk talking about Colt Cabana sharing a bank account with his mom. What happened was I was at the airport and I'm flipping through Instagram and I came across the, the um, piece of footage from, from you know, a couple years ago when uh, when um, uh, CM Punk was going off on Colt Cabana about sharing a bank account with his mom and all that you know and uh I don't like CM Punk. He's always been a dick to us. You know what I mean? And uh, so I just unloaded. I was like, I've been meaning to say this. You know what I mean? Like when I saw it, I was sitting in the airport and when I saw that post come up, I was like, let me school this motherfucker because I, I, um, I have been meaning to say that. You know what I mean? He then explains where it comes from. Here's where it comes from. Back in, um, Ian Rotten's, uh, IWA, we were doing, um, uh, something there way back in the day. Right. And, um, apparently we didn't shake everybody's hand in the dressing room, uh, like was required for that time, you know? you come in there you pretty much shake everybody's hand you know we didn't know this you know <laughs> we did just did not know that 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 was uh at the time we did not know that that was part of a customary thing for respect and all this you know so we we just did not know that so anyway apparently according to colt he didn't like us after that cm punk so when we got to tna we went to shake his hand and uh he wouldn't shake our hand you know and i was like well that's the first time somebody just refused to shake our hand you know what i mean yeah. and wrestling you know over something like that like they you know i don't know so that's where it comes from or at least where it all started handshaking heat always handshaking heat with this cm punk so then um when colt fell out with him and everything i thought about that statement about who would share a bank account with their mom you know what i'm saying and, and i just thought well not everybody's mom is is like obviously like uh cm punk's mom where that would be a problem you know what i'm saying like i i i, I shared a bank account with my mom before she passed you know what i'm saying like he then goes on to start to explain how he just doesn't understand cm punk as a person i don't understand him i don't understand his anger anger is bitterness and um and i don't understand his attacks on colt and uh his blatant disregard for us disrespect for us i just was like fuck him fuck this dude you know what i mean he seems a little bit embarrassed about this post or at least the way it blew up and i unloaded because um you know i got a mouth and when something's on my mind i i uh i i um i unload but you know the funny thing is he doesn't live in 
in my mind, like that, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a, gr- a grudge where I'm after him or some shit like that. You know what I mean? I right. just saw that and I was like, man, fuck this guy. You know what I mean? And that's it. That's really it. There's no anger. There's no real anger to it. You know what I mean? But no, I, I don't like, I don't like him. I think he, um, I think he suffers inside, you know? I think he's, uh, just, just watching him, observing everything as a fan. I think like, I think he's got problems, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think it's probably a lot more going on in his head than, than, than I'll ever understand. But, um, goes on to say that he respects CM Punk's wrestling and is a fan of his work. But as a man, no, of course I respect his wrestling. Of course I respect everything he's done and his his ability. There's, you know, as a fan, I mean, I'm a CM Punk fan, you know, for his work and all that. But just him as a man, so hard to relate for me. And when he dissed a personal friend of mine so hard on top of his already blatant disrespect of me and Shaggy, you know, that I was just like, fuck him, you know what I mean? Like, like I wish I would bump into him, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, put it this way, if you'd asked him what he thinks of ICP, he just told you the same thing about <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I just said it first. You know what I mean? It's like that's you know, but it's not really a um a deep seated hatred or nothing like that. You know, hate, hatred. It's just like I don't know you, dude. You diss my boy. You diss us. Fuck you. That's really all it all it amounts to. You know what I mean? Conrad interjects that it comes from a place of defending your friend. It came from a place of defending your friend. I get that. I mean, that makes you a good friend more than anything else. Yeah, and and and, and I do love Colt. You know. I mean, I really do. He's my boy, you know. And Jay talks about his son JJ's reaction to his post. You know, my son was like, damn, dad, why don't you just send that message to him instead of putting it out like that, you know? And I said, because I want people to know that I don't like him, number one. Number two, I don't know, man. Just something, I just lost my mind, you know what I mean? The whole thing about his, you know, dissing Cole for sharing a bank account with his mom, it just seems so unhuman to me. So, like, first of all, how the fuck is that any? your business are concerned you know what i mean yeah. i mean i get it. they owe they owed money or whatever but the fact that cole cabana shares a bank account with his mom <laughs> has nothing to do with nothing you know what i mean and i stand by that like i stand by supporting your mom and taking care of your mom if you can the way she took care of you coming up you know so i told my son that's why i said it. i want people to know that i'm not cool with him dissing colt for that reason you know like fuck that i do the same thing man what's wrong with that you know what i mean i think you can see that it hit home with violent jay that he shared his bank account with his mom too and that there's nothing wrong with that in fact it shows that colt cabana and violent jay are good people who were helping out their moms at least i think that's what he's trying to get to here he said that people blew it out of proportion and that he embarrassed himself a bit and so but that's it man i think people blew it out of, i mean of course it's a very scathing fucking rant but that's just the way i talk you know what i mean when i'm mad like that but it's definitely looked at like a, it it kind of embarrassed myself a little bit in the sense that um it looks like i'm just over here feeling about him and want to kill him but if you follow my instagram and you see the type of shit i post that's just pretty much the way i do something's on my mind i just jump on it and then forget about it you know what i mean so it's not it's not a it's not as big as it appears my uh dislike for him and i enjoy watching him wrestle you know as a fan conrad interjects again to say that maybe it's phil brooks he has an issue with and jay says that he has an issue with himself you like cm punk maybe it's phil brooks that you have an issue with yeah i think i think he has an issue with him with himself sometimes you know he just seems so unhappy and upset with everybody and everything you know it's like a negative um it's so hard to relate to him the whole re- reason he got mad about the car glass and everything it's just so hard to relate to his arguments you know what i mean and i just you know went off on him <laughs> Yeah, that's really it, though. You know what I mean? And that's about it. I'll break down this interview and the Drink Champs appearance in full on Humble Among Broadcast System number 140 coming soon. Make sure you hit the like gimmick. Make sure you hit the subscribe gimmick. Once we hit 6,000 subscribers, I'm giving away six pieces of vinyl to six winners. My new album, Sign of the Times, comes out July 4th. HumbleAmong.com. Whoop, whoop, and have a good night. Magnets are actually what can bend gravity. It's how UFOs get around. You know what I'm saying? So we're still trying to figure out uh magnus in reality you know what i'm saying that's what i believe in i believe the power of magnus is way beyond our understanding you know what i mean